Hey everyone, happy Monday. I hope you've all had such a lovely, wonderful weekend. Um, we do little study sessions over the weekend um, on Sundays where we study different scriptures and um, we read uh, chapter two or um, yeah, chapter two of the Bhagavad Gita. Yesterday we were studying some of the verses and I thought I'd share these verses with you just because, um, yeah, I felt like they were the ones that stuck out most to me. Maybe it says something about who I am, but, uh, or what I'm, what my mind's going through at the moment, but I thought it'd be really useful. And so this is in the Bhagavad Gita, this edition. And I will be sharing, um, that with you as well. And it is chapter two, text 62. And it says, while contemplating the objects of the senses, a person develops attachment for them. And from such attachment, lust develops. And from lust, anger arises. And then the next verse says, From anger, complete delusion arises. And from delusion, bewilderment of memory. When memory is bewildered, intelligence is lost. And when intelligence is lost, one falls down again into the material pool. And so the language is a little bit difficult to understand. But what I got from that was where it says that, when we're contemplating the objects of senses and we we get attached to them. So whatever it is, anything that exists in this material world, whatever we get attached to, it's saying that from that attachment, lust develops and from lust, anger arises. And what that made me think of was whenever we end up feeling angry about something, whether it's to do with something not going right, whether it's to do with another person, whether it's jealousy, whether it's... um uh, whatever it is that the anger is about. What this helps us realize is that it stems from a specific place. And so if, ang if anger arises from lust, that must mean we should look back at what we are lusting, what we are desiring. And if it's resulting in a negative emotion like anger, then that probably indicates to us that we need to reanalyze and, and decide again what we actually are desiring. It helps us, re it helps us define and um, refine our desires because if any desire is leading to a negative emotion then it probably is telling us that it's not going to be a desire that we should be having and so um yeah i thought i'd share that with you all and it, and and i and i really feel like sometimes we don't realize that sometimes we our mind tricks ourselves to really believe that this is a desire that's going to enhance us in some way that's really going to benefit us in some way but if it's resulting in us reacting in a negative way, with anger, with jealousy, with frustration, with sadness, um, then maybe it's a desire that we need to really, really rethink and, and get to the root of. Um, so this was really useful for me because I felt it gave a thread to um, an end emotion and where it could be stemming from. So I hope that was useful. Maybe gives you something to think about this uh, week. And um, I'm going to be sharing so much more of these uh, scripture verses that I read because it's really, honestly, these are the books that have changed my entire life. These are the verses and scriptures that have so much depth, so much meaning um, rooted in knowledge that is timeless and and old and but still relevant. I'm gonna I'm going to be sharing links to where I get these books from. Um, and um, I hope that you guys invest in one over the Christmas time um, and especially for your New Year's. I think it's a beautiful place to start your New Year, dedicating some time to a beautiful book that could transform your heart and your life too. Sending all so much love and gratitude for this week and um, yeah, have a great week guys. Have a great week.